Making the most of opportunities is the easy part of being successful. The real challenge lies in dealing with setbacks. Denise Naidu turned retrenchment into a kickstart for bold personal reinvention, as she explained to Zaki. To friends and family, Denise Naidu is known variously as D, Danny, and Bean, which gives a clue to the multiple facets of her personality and abilities. When someone is truly versatile, we refer to them as wearing many hats. Not only does Denise Naidu wear many hats, she also makes hats, and that's just one of her many talents. Hello! Hey, it's so good to see you! Oh, Aww. babe, really good, man! So gorgeous! Thank you so much! Flowers are really one of my creature comforts at home. So anywhere there's a space to put flowers, I'll put them there. I was gonna ask, are you a flower-powered girl? Totally, and I think over the years, what's changed my love for flowers is just knowing more about them. Also, I am obsessed with my birth flower. Mine is a carnation and I've just had it tattooed on my arm. If you were to describe yourself personally and professionally, what would you say? Personally and professionally, I'd say both daring, bold, big risk taker, but fun. I believe that work should be fun as much as life should be fun. If we'd bumped into you at primary school, what would we have encountered? If you bumped into me at primary school, you would have encountered a dancer. I started dancing from the age of five, and most people that know me growing up into high school, they know that about me. So, Deneen, is an only child always spoilt rotten? No, I actually am so adamant on that. I don't believe I'm a spoiled brat. I think I've been brought up with pretty good values on sharing and I work for things. I've been taught how to work for things. Would you say that you've developed so many skills because you get bored easily? As a child, I never used the big B word at home, which was being bored. I always found a craft. I had a little beadery business. I used to paint. I used to reenact the Spice Girls and bring the theater home. So, I mean, I just always, always kept busy. Speaking of keeping yourself busy, you make hats on top of everything else you do. I love wearing hats and I buy them, but when it comes to making anything that goes in my head myself, I'm sort of an aspiring milliner. So think about fascinators that you'll see at the polo or on a red carpet. That's kind of what I do when I've got a little bit of downtime. So, come, let's go and play golf. <laughs> I love all these goodies. Well, so let's play a little bit. I mean, it's really, really simple. You can even use old things and little treasures and buttons, whatever you wish. To be honest, this is a shoulder pad as a base and a little hair clip oh. that you can just That's use. amazing. I'm just gonna quickly sew those together with the veil, which is the netting, and um, your feathers and some roses. Denine, what did you study after school? I studied public relations and worked in agencies for quite a little while until I got retrenched. And, you know, that presented me with a clean canvas to think, okay, what is it that I really want to do? What are the things that really makes my heart tick? So I took a course in fashion styling, which was one whole day, walked away with that certificate and really just got stuck into agency styling with models. Last year, I made my appearance in the Ghostbuster mobile. This year, I made it in the Mad Max replica. Well, that's just one of the things to enjoy out here at Geek Fest this year. It's bigger and better in every single way. Prepare to be geeked. The PR agency's loss was television's gain. And Deneen's live wire personality raises the energy level of any show that she appears in. She also has a natural sense of curiosity and fun, with an instinct for making tech and science sexy. Deneen, what have been some of your greatest challenges and highlights so far? You know, highlights, there are just so many when you're working in TV, because no two days are ever the same. You get to do things that people don't get to in a lifetime. But when it comes to challenges, I took nine months to settle into my skin as a live TV presenter because it's really quite different. You know, the skill set with live TV versus when things are pre-recorded and you can do them a hundred times is very, very different. And just like that, we're kind of done now. Oh, it's so pretty. Here we go. So let me actually put it on so you can put on my hat. 
special sex for my head to something about that cat. <laughs> wow, and there you are, styling. <gasps> Is it? I feel so fancy in my fascinator. And it's such a treat to see it on someone else's head other than my own, so it looks mwah, beautiful. Okay, Denine, I have a confession to make. I have this big girly fantasy of going through your cupboard. Well, we're going all in today, so you're <laughs> more than welcome to explore. Let's go. <laughs> yes! Every time I see you out, I just want to raid your cupboard. I'm so lucky. I know you wore that to the Safters. This was my Safters Red Carpet Ensemble, which really looks like pretty much nothing once it's off my body and on the hanger. Um, but it was just a big piece of fabric that was manipulated with the use of leather cord. Deneen has an eye for spotting the potential in an item that otherwise seems quite nondescript and an ability to put together a gallery of looks ranging from steampunk to boho and minimalist elegance. This is what I've been waiting to get my hands on. You and a couple. <laughs> what I love about this suit, I actually sourced it to wear for a company photo shoot and they were so kind, they said they loved it on me so much that they actually decided to gift it to me. So it's definitely one of my prized items in my wardrobe. You lucky fish. Now that you're based in Joburg, where do you like to hang out and play and relax and unwind? One of my absolute favorite spots in Johannesburg is Mabening, just because it's so eclectic and full of soul when it comes to food and entertainment and the markets there. So I think we need to take a little bit of downtime and explore. Okay, but I'm taking this jacket. <laughs> I knew there was a catch. What do you usually do in here? Do you ever go salsa dancing? Do you know, that's the one thing I haven't ever done in Mobbing and I've been dying to do the rooftop salsa. It's so awesome. So this is one of the first places that I stumbled across when I just moved. The root of it is really an empowerment project for youth. So they take them off the streets, they equip them with disposable cameras first and then they really allow them to work their way up to professional ones. And what's great is that the result and the end product of what you see in terms of imaging gets printed on notebooks, um, on coasters, onto these wall mounts that you can collect and fill your whole wall with if you really like. I love you. Aww. <laughs> I love her too. <laughs> Deneen, what made you decide to make the move from Cape Town to Joburg? I really just craved a new challenge and I kind of hit the ceiling back in Cape Town in terms of what more I could do from there in the entertainment industry and I just felt so right. So packed my 27 years up uh, two years ago and just drove one way and this was actually, Mabuneng is one of the first places I came to that really just made me fall in love with the arts in Joburg. Where do you see your career heading in five years time? In five years time I hope to be doing things that are even more authentically me. I would love to be producing more which I'm kind of making a start with now in terms of online as well. Even touching on things like doing more theatre and more acting work and definitely, definitely wanting to have my own fashion label. I do not want this day to end. I second that lady, let's go. 